In this tutorial, I will share VBA code that will copy specific range or a specific data from Excel to PowerPoint. Here on this sheet, I have some data and this data is from A3 to G11. So we can say range is from A3 to G11. Now what I want, I want to copy this data or range and paste into PowerPoint slide. And I want this to be done by VBA code. Let's see how we can do this quickly. I'll go to developer tab. Here we have this insert option. From ActiveX control, I will select a command button. And I will drag a command button here. Let me rename this command button. Right click, properties. Here I will give any name. Let's say transfer to PPT and then let's change the font size to 18 make it bold press ok and I can close this property window now I will double click on this command button so that I can write VBA code on the click event of this command button so let's get it started first of all I will declare few variables dim r as range dim or point app as object dim my presentation as object dim my slide as object dim my shape as object so first i will write entire code and then i will explain each line so that it is understandable to you and you can modify this vba code for automating excel and powerpoint with the easy changes next line i will write set r equal to this workbook dot worksheets and sheet name is sheet one range as we have already seen range is a three to g eleven then set powerpoint app equal to get object class equal to powerpoint dot application and then PowerPoint app is nothing then set PowerPoint app equal to create object class equal to PowerPoint dot application so before moving ahead let me explain this code so these are the variables that I am going to use first variable is r here in this line what I am doing is I am assigning range into variable so let me write into comments assigning range into variable now I don't need to define this sign 
whenever we want to make any comment that is not part of VBA code, we can put comma before that statement. What is happening? This range is being assigned to variable named R. Now what this next line is doing? There are two cases. First case is if PowerPoint is already open and second case is if we don't have PowerPoint already open and then we want to open that with VBA code. So this first line is if we have already opened PowerPoint. So let me write Now this VBA code we can use when PowerPoint is already open. If PowerPoint is not open, then this line will work. So here we have written if PowerPoint is nothing, then set PowerPoint. Let me connect it. PowerPoint app equal to create object class equal to PowerPoint dot application. So far we have used two variables R as range and this PowerPoint app. Now third variable which is my presentation we are going to use in next line. So let me write code set my presentation equal to PowerPoint app dot presentations dot add so this will create a new presentation let me write it here add a slide into this presentation and make use of this fourth variable so let me write code for my slide equal to my presentation dot slides dot add here we can give two things number one first slide and then what kind of slide we want to add so I am using here 11 so let me explain why we have used this 11 there are different layouts in PPT. 11 is used for PPT layout title type of presentation or slide. We can use different other layouts by using different numbers like let's say 10, 8, 5, 6. And uh, I'm not actually mentioning all of these numbers here. We can easily search on Google and use as per our requirement. Now, like next line of code is let's copy the range r dot copy so this r already assigned with range which is a32 g11 it is the same data that we want to copy on ppt slide next line is paste bench and code is my slide dot shapes dot paste special space data type equal to two now here I am assigning data type as two because it is for PPT or I would say paste as enhanced meta file for this we can pass on 0, 1 or some other numbers. 0 is actually for default for paste. 1 is for paste as bitmap. We have some other numbers that we can pass like 4 for GIF and 5 for JPG. If you want to know any specific thing about it, just write into comments. I will reply. Now set my shape equal to my slide dot shapes my slide dot 
steps dot count and now I will specify at what position I want to paste so here I am writing my shape dot left equal to 250 we can give these numbers from left and from top my shape dot top equal to 150 so whatever is the requirement we can give the or we can set these left and top as per the requirement next is powerpoint app dot visible equal to true and powerpoint app dot activate now let me write one more line so that we can clear cut copy mode from clipboard let me mention code is application dot cut copy mode equal to false so this is the code which i expect that will copy the defined or given range from excel to powerpoint now let me format so that this code is visible to you you can pause this tutorial here and uh, try this code at your own for any question around modification for your requirement just write into comments avoiding any unnecessary error I would like to use one more line on error resume next so this is very simple VBA code that will copy range and paste to PPT let's check this let me click on design mode now when I click on this command button we can see that range or defined range is copied into PowerPoint it is working perfectly fine let me show the code again let me add one more explanation here this line is to add slide into presentation so we can use this VBA code for different kind of Excel PowerPoint automations this is helpful to you for learning Excel VBA automation we can use this code for different requirement by doing some modifications in it as per the task requirement. Let me know if you have any question around this topic and subscribe to my channel for more VBA tutorials. Thank you.